jetzt machen wir einen Überraschungsbesuch bei Safe Sky. Die haben nämlich gestern einen Reward abgeräumt. Hey, Monsieur. <lacht> Good to see you. Bonjour. You're right? Yeah, fine. Thank you. you? Yeah, oh, yes. Look. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <lacht> Congratulations! Thank you very much appreciated. We are so proud. It's a great recognition. And that should be an invitation for all of us to become an actor yeah. of our safety. Yeah. That's very cool. It's really cool. So, Thank you. Ja, jetzt nochmal in Absprache mit Tristan. Ich erzähle euch jetzt ein bisschen was über Safe Sky, beziehungsweise wir fragen den uh, Tristan, der uns gut Auskunft geben kann. Okay. Good morning, Tristan. Good morning. Very nice, nice to, meet you, to meet you in person this time, not remotely. So thanks for coming to our booth. We are very, very honored to have you with us. That's my pleasure. Uh, we got in contact some months before and uh, I did a, I produced a video about Safe Sky mm -hmm. and I use Safe Sky. And uh, you were nominated for the Flieger Award. Flieger Magazine Award, Absolutely. and you are the winner! Absolutely, yes, we are so proud. Thank you very much for all the people that voted to us and all the pirates using, uh, uh, using Safe Sky. And this reward is not only for us, it's for all the pilots. It's an invitation for all of us to fly and improve safety by using collaborative traffic sharing and the Safe Sky app. It's a free app, we should all be using it. Yeah, that's it. That's it. Yeah, yeah that's a, that's a most important message, I think. Yeah? Yes. It's for free. Please tell me uh, what sources you use to get your information for uh, avoidance of collision. So we have three sources of information. The first one, it's the pilot's mobile phone or tablet. As a pilot, I start Safe Sky, I click takeoff, and I am sharing my position with the rest of the community. And in return, I'm getting the traffic in the vicinity directly from, uh, from, my, uh, from the Safe Sky app. That's one source of traffic, and this is traffic in blue. And typically, in Germany, being the number one country in terms of users, uh, all the traffic in blue, this is Safe Sky traffic, and all the traffic in dark, it's traffic coming from transponders. So then that's the second type of traffic. We are aggregating all the possible uh, radio signals from transponder. We can see ADSB, FLAM, Pilot Aware, OGN Tracker, uh, Fanet, you name it. There are, there's many, many, many. And for those that are not familiar with those protocols, that means that you can see parameters, paragliders, or tracks, fast uh, uh, flying ultralights, general aviation. This is what you can see for those that are equipped. And the third um, source of information that we have is a tight integration to uh, software. And uh, we have, uh, for example, Easy VFR, which is a moving map software, where SafeSky is tightly integrated. So the moment I run my moving map software, I am also sharing my position with the rest of the community, and I'm getting the traffic in the vicinity with the convenience of not having to operate two apps at the same time. And the other generation of software we are compatible with, it's all the software stack that is currently being used by paragliders and parameters. This is a very, very specific class of, uh, of pilots that have so far been totally invisible to everyone in the world. Thanks to SafeSky, they are appearing now. We have partnership with Gaggle, The Flight Vario, eVario, uh, hardware like Skytrax and a few others, which makes the, this layer now being visible in the network of SafeSky. And in terms of safety, that's extremely yeah, important. That's cool because we fly at the same altitude, uh, we have different habits in flying, but we share the same sky, so uh, it's all about collaborative traffic, and uh, all of us being an actor by sharing our position. Yeah. Uh, the function is based on internet. That means when I'm on a high, at a higher flight level, for example, 85, 905, does it work? Uh, in practice, uh, we consider that anything from zero to 5,000 feet is the range where we expect Safe Sky to, uh, to, to work. Above 5,000 feet, you are probably under an air controlled airspace, so the problematic is slightly different. Uh, you get um, uh, flight following and those type of services. So if Safe Sky is out of internet reach, it's not necessarily of a, of a big deal. For the low airspace, from zero to 5,000, this is um, um, interesting because this is where you get the most convoluted uh, uh, airspace. You get parameters, paragliders, uh, uh, ultralights and everything. So uh, that's where it really matters. 
uh, statistically speaking, uh, collisions are happening under three circumstances. One is under um, golf airspace, below 2,000 feet. Second is approaching an airfield. And three is when you are uh, flying overhead a tourist uh, place. Under those three circumstances, it's very likely you get uh, internet coverage and SafeSky would be working. If you are above uh, 5,000 feet and you lose internet connection, then there are some options. You can combine uh, SafeSky with an inconspicuous device, such as a Stratux, Sky Echo, Power Flam, blow, uh, uh, a bomb, an OGN tracker, a pilot aware device. And what will happen is that um, SafeSky will uh, then stop working, but you will continue to get the air-to-air -air signals ah, okay. uh, uh, as normal. So you get the visibility of what the inconspicuous device is able to do. But then if you are, um, if you are within internet coverage, uh, each of those devices will only show you a very narrow picture of the traffic. For example, the Sky Echo will give you visibility to uh, ADSB traffic and flam traffic. What about the rest? What about pilots that are just using SafeSky or uh, trucks that are using uh, the Gaggle app? So SafeSky will also listen to the uh, Sky Echo traffic and it will add up the traffic that is not being seen by the air-to-air. -air. So you get the best picture, you get okay. the best of both worlds by combining those okay. two together. And last but not least, uh, if you use one of these own e-conspicuous devices, you are also becoming a true actor for the safety for everyone. All the traffic that will be connected by the receiver will also be relayed to the SafeSky community and made available to the to the rest of us. So you are basically operating a flying station for the community. Okay, cool. So this communication works by communication between two Sky Echoes, for example. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. Okay. So the Stratex, Stratox in German, it's, a, it's the same? It's ah. exactly the okay. same. And all those devices, they all share a common protocol called GDL90. And SafeSky being compatible with it makes it then possible to do this combination uh, totally seamlessly. Okay, cool. Yes. Okay. So, my um, last question is Kenny Show. My last question, I've got a ruffle, something like a lottery. Mm -hmm. Is there anything you can give to my viewers? Absolutely. We are offering a one-year premium account to, to, to the winner so that all the SafeSky features will be totally enabled, including traffic sharing with navigation software and inconspicuous devices. Okay, that means the premium means a little bit more than the free version. Absolutely. Just, same, uh, just explain where's the difference. So the free version includes everything that is, that is to do with safety. You can share your position, you can view the traffic, you can use the radar, you have audible alerts. It's full, full, full features. And then we have a premium version at 34.99 euros a year. And this is enabling comfort features, such as the compatibility with your navigation software. So it's possible to operate SafeSky, EasyVFR, AirNav Pro, and ForeFlight um, with a new layer of traffic directly fed by the SafeSky application, which brings the convenience of not having to have two screens at the same time, but just focus on your navigation software. Okay. I use SkyDemon, and I use SkyDemon as a backup version too during flight on my mobile phone, and I use Save Sky on that mobile phone, and it works very well with SkyDemon. Yeah. So, Tesson, thank you very much. Pleasure. Nice to meet you here, and uh, again, congratulations, and I hope you'll have more success with the system. I like it. Thank you very much. Fly safe, everyone. Take care. Bye-bye.